Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I am going to wander around Michael's. It is the first week of school here in the Northern Virginia area, so this is the first time I've had in a long time to go check out a store without um, kiddos in tow, and it's been forever since I have checked out Michael's. I'm excited to see what they have for fall. I'm excited to kind of just see the whole store. My Michael's isn't the best um, in the area, but it is the closest one. And with gas prices like they are, um, I'm still trying to stick close to home and help out our family budget. So let's go and check out Michael's. Let's go. The reason I say that my Michaels is not the best is because at times it can be pretty disorganized. Sometimes I feel like the layout is a little bit awkward and a lot of times the aisles get really crowded because they put things in the middle of the aisles and it can be hard to kind of move around. The employees at this Michaels are fabulous, wonderful, always willing to help. So I'm a big fan of them. All right, right when you walk in, you're just hit with all of the fall Feels. This year, I definitely want to do a new wreath for my front door. I usually don't buy these pre-done wreaths, but I do like to look for them um, to, for inspiration. And look at these beautiful Halloween pieces. I love that. Okay, of course, it is August, so that means fall in all of the craft stores. And you can see all of the individual pieces that you can use to create your own wreath. I like to use a mixture of garlands and then these individual sticks. Look at these cute little critters. I love them. All of these are currently 40% off. A big tip is do not buy things full price at Michael's. They are similar to Hobby Lobby and Joanne in that they kind of rotate through sales. So you shouldn't be paying full price for anything. It should be usually about 40% off for the decor items, 40% um, and up. So if you're finding something that you love, um, I would give it a week unless it's low stock. That would be another thing. I mean, if it's the only one left, then you might want to buy it at that point. Um, but if you see it, you love it, it's not on sale, at least give it a week and see if it does come up on sale again um, because you can save a lot of money that way and a lot of these items I would not pay full price I think they're kind of marked up um, so that the sale price is really more what it should cost in general I am not huge on doing Halloween specific decor, mostly because I don't want to have to change out my decor so frequently in the fall. I definitely go big at Christmas time. And so I prefer to do fall themed decor at some point in September and then leave it up for September, October, and most of November, maybe a little bit of, maybe not most of November. I switched to Christmas pretty early, but I will check out a few pieces here and there. I like to put up um, some fun Halloween pieces in where my kiddos play. We tend to not go scary, but there are some cute pieces. I really like these little candy corns. These would be fun to kind of stick in a fall wreath and then you could easily remove them. It wouldn't be a big change over um, when Halloween was all done. Michael's definitely changed some of the decor they were offering. They were offering a lot more what I would call scary Halloween decor, a lot more skeletons, a lot more kind of intense Halloween stuff. I tend to be more of a pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, candy kind of Halloween person. But if you are into maybe just, I don't know, the scarier parts of Halloween, you love the horror movies, you love the scary stories, then this might be good for you because there are some nice little pieces that you could pick up and add into your regular decor just to give it an extra, extra little spark for the month of October. See, this is more my fall feel. I love signs with words. I love pumpkins. Look at how cute these stuffed pumpkins are. I think they would be so pretty in a little arrangement. Again, $15 for one is a little much, but these were 40% off, so that's a little closer to what I would be willing to pay. I like all the different textures. I think that's the thing about fall specifically is bringing in texture just feels so right. I love all the different textures. Love this for a pen holder. I think that would be super cute in my craft room just to switch things up. And then of course I have a collection of glass pumpkins. So those caught my eye right away and autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. So cute. Love the little pumpkin in the corner. Just lots of really pretty things. And look at all the sunflowers. Also very cute for the end of summer. 
These little squirrels caught my attention. How adorable are Mr. and Mrs. Squirrel right there? I think they're super cute, but I like this kind of nod to sunflowers because I feel like it's a nice change as you're like going from summer into fall. Um, picking up a few of these pieces and mixing them in is really pretty. Love those. I will say that I think the newer things at Michael's, the newer lines, were definitely geared towards Halloween and not fall. I'm not sure that I see a lot that is different from last year. Look at this beautiful truck painting. It definitely reminds me of the truck from the By the Well for God logo. Love that. Lots of trucks, lots of signs, lots of Apple themed things, but I'm not sure that these were very different last year. If you're looking for storage, this is a great time of year because I love that they have all these trays out that are wooden and beautiful and um, add a richness to your area. Something that always catches my eye at Michael's are these groups of ribbons and now they're doing them in themes. So this is a fall theme. They have some gorgeous ones. These are kind of more basic ribbons and then they have a whole set that definitely has more textured ribbons that I think are perfect for crafting and you'll see later on but there are ribbons for a bunch of different holidays available. This is kind of like a Michael's thing that they're leaning into on the crafting side and I am here for it. Speaking of ribbon, of course, they're pulling out a ton of different, especially burlap ribbons for the fall. I see lots with pieces with artwork printed on it. I love these really larger ones. Those are great for creating wreaths. I actually really like the fall leaves ones. And then the pumpkins at the bottom, whenever you include turquoise into fall, that is one of my favorites. Is it even a trip to the craft store if you don't smell some of the candles? Because I'm here to smell all the fall candles. Yum. That one is called pumpkin souffle. My favorite with pumpkin mixed with like baking smells. I love it. I cannot wait to pull out the fall candles. I didn't buy any today, but they're definitely on my wish list. The other thing I love about this time of year is when they bring out these candle holders, these kind of light wood tones are some of my favorite for decorating and creating um, groupings together. I love that they have different sizes and again, catch them on sale. So I know it can be almost hard to shop for fall when it's still so hot outside. I know I'm not the only one, but coming in to the store, just relaxing and walking around and seeing all the fall pieces definitely got me more inspired. I feel more ready to go. Yes, it's still hot outside, um, but I think if I started transforming my house, that would really put me in the mood for all of the fall things. And if you're like me, football season is about to start and that is a huge signal to my brain that it is time for fall. I really liked the natural feel of this particular wreath, but seriously, $60 feels like a lot for that. Again, I feel like they mark prices up so that the sales make them more your typical price. So 40% off puts this a little bit more in my range. And then I like to take a pre-done one like that and then add my own touches from those individual pieces we saw at the beginning of the video. Another helpful hint from me to you is that all of the back to school stuff is on clearance now at Michael's, including these gorgeous rainbow pieces. So, Definitely check it out. Not only are these rainbow, but you guys, the inside is purple. So I feel like these were designed with me in mind. I think they're so cute, but the back to school stuff being on clearance, it's a great time to kind of stock up on some of those storage pieces just to use in your craft room. I even spotted some larger pieces. And is that a happy planner I spot right there? It sure is a happy planner kit. Those are great ways to get started with happy planner because you get a lot of different pieces all in one. Lots of cute classroom decor, things that we use in our craft room or to gift to your favorite teacher. They definitely had the quote unquote scary Halloween stuff in one section. And then this is the cuter side of Halloween, candy corn and pom poms adorable to add in to your decor. Lots of cute signs. These are easy to change out. So they're great ones to include. But I think one of my favorite things I saw at Michael's this time around were some of the pillows. I think they had some really nice pillows. And I noticed last year at Christmas time that there were some fantastic pillows available. So that must be a new focus for Michael's. But look at that pretty sequin pillow. Yes, I am all about that. If you have purchased these Ashland pillows before, 
four. Let me know in the comments below how they held up. I have three kids at home and a dog, so pillows have to be pretty durable to even last through the season, but these are super cute. I'd love to get some of these to just toss on the couch, um, but I want to make sure they're going to hold up. All right, here are ribbons. This time we're doing Halloween. So again, they started having these for all the different seasons. Later on, I do find some Christmas ones as well and some of the leftover ones from the spring. So I think that's a fun way to get lots of little ribbons and tidbits and textures to add to your crafting without having to invest in a whole spool of ribbon. All right, speaking of crafting, here are some of the paper pads that I found. They were pretty cute. There were some other ones that were like, dark magic and a little bit scarier Halloween. This one's more my style. So it was pretty cute, but the Halloween crafting stuff was not on sale when I was there. So I didn't pick any up, but I think they'd be fun to add to some of your projects. Glitter paper. That's always fun. I mean, come on. Glitter paper with the black glitter and the gold glitter. Love that. They had a little um, sticker sets as well. They weren't fully stocked or else they were sold out. I also liked this Day of the Dead sticker pad. I loved the colors in it and I thought it was beautiful. And they had some die cut stickers and other things that went with the Day of the Dead paper line that they have now at Michael's. So they're branching out. They're covering some different holidays. Um, I wish the paper were double sided. That's just my personal preference. So just something to consider. And of course, I had to make a stop at the Happy Planner aisle, except it's now not an aisle. Now it's just this one piece in the middle, this one middle section, and I didn't even find the regular planner aisle. It has disappeared. So let me know if that has happened at your Michaels as well. All right, I did go check out some more paper pads. Look at this one. None of them were on sale, you guys, so I could not pick up any of them, but they are beautiful. It is all about fall. Sorry about the camera work going down, but those are some gorgeous fall leaves. I absolutely love that. They had several different ones. They have this more realistic one with more photograph style pieces. So pretty. I think these would make just gorgeous backgrounds in all kinds of paper projects. So I love that. And then they also had one that was, um, a little different. It had more illustration type instead of the photos. This one had like this farmhouse feel, which I thought was really pretty as well. So these are gorgeous paper pads. Again, I like to pick them up on sale. They're only $10 to start with, so that's not too bad, but sales are always good. I do wish that they had more stickers to go with the different paper pads. So I did find some Here's some Thanksgiving stickers. They didn't have, they just didn't have a lot of themed stickers. So I wasn't all about it. They covered some of the different holidays right here. You see Christmas and these are packs that have like paper pieces. These are some of the other stickers I found. Again, not really holiday themed. So I feel like Michael's really fell short on the stickers. Paper pads, yes, I will pick them up when they're on sale, but stickers, meh. They're kind of missing on that and along with stickers the paper pieces some of the other things we use in paper crafting i just didn't see very many of them all right so i had a good time checking out michael's um i was excited about all of the decor i generally don't do halloween um i do like fall decor um so i'm excited i didn't buy anything because i have a rule that i can't buy any new decorations until I pull out all of the old decorations and look at them because I will end up double buying. That's just what happens. So I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks, I want to wait for a cooler day because it's really depressing to pull out all of your fall decoration items when it's like 100 degrees outside. So I'm going to wait for a cooler day, make some chili, pull out the fall decor, and then figure out what, it what I want to pick up. Um, I also want to check out Hobby Lobby and Joann's as well to see what they have available. Um, I liked some of the craft items. I was a little bit disappointed in the selection on the craft side. I feel like Michael's is going really heavy on decor things and paper crafting is um, kind of losing some status there. That's my opinion. Let me know if you feel the same way. It could just be my Michaels too. I mean, I think they all maybe get to choose, um, where all of the, um, things go as far as like percentage wise. So, um, I liked some of those paper pads. I think they would be really pretty for some fall, um, 
additions to your planners and fall cards and things like that. So um, I might consider waiting for a sale on some of those and pick them up. Let me know in the comments below what you saw that you liked. Um, what stores do you like to go to to shop for fall crafting items or fall decor items. I am starting to get all pumped up, all ready to decorate for fall. I just need some colder weather to help me out. So let me know where you like to shop. I would love to go check those out and hopefully I can bring um, you guys along. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon members. Thank you guys so much. Um, we're having a great time. If you want to check out Patreon, then check out the link in the description below. All right. I hope that you all have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative. <laughs>